We have one life to live, so why not be happy about it? So don't make decisions in your life by fear. Make them by what your heart tells you. From a very early start in my life, my dad handed me his checkbooks. He says, you need to deal with this, because I don't want to deal with it. So that's how I automatically kind of graduated into banking, I think, right? It's not what my soul wanted, but those were my duties and I made my duties my career. So we run our life according to what society thinks or what our neighbor will think of us, but that's not true happiness. I decided to forget about society, forget about what family will think, what my parents' neighbors will think, and we just push. I realized about 10 years ago that I wanted to be in the beauty industry, work with art and not just numbers. However, at that point, I was fully involved in my banking career. So you get an education, you are in banking, and the salary is always very, very, very enticing. So I just continued doing beauty on the side. I came to realization about two and a half years ago that I no longer can do it side by side. I bought into a business in Vancouver that assisted me earning a little bit of money with beauty and leaving banking forever. Switching careers was probably the most difficult thing I have ever done. Difficult because what will mom and dad say? Difficult because I was making a very good lump sum from the bank that paid for all the luxuries in life. What if I don't do that well in the beauty industry? A lot of what ifs and a lot of anxiety, stress came with that. But there's a series of events in our lives back home that made me realize life is way too short. And then I decided to leave banking forever because I can always go back and let my passion run my life for the next little while. Just run after your dreams. What's the worst that will happen? You might fail once, you might fail twice, but every time make sure you get up and dust yourself.